the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, man, God bless you. Hey, we had a great study today. I think it's every time we get to have a forum and, and get into the Word of God, I do believe it's great. I believe in the leading of the Holy Spirit. And I think the fact is, it's all about uh, being open and, 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 and frank in discussions about the scriptures and, and learning and analyzing those scriptures line upon line and precept upon precept. Yeah, we can't cover everything in one session, and we're not meant to do that. We need to highlight an area and i guarantee you that every area any other areas in the scriptures especially in the teaching of christ is to to make sure to remind ourselves that we line up with the scriptures and the teaching of christ christ said in john 14 6 i'm the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father but by him and because of that that's why it's more important for us to to not only point the way but to also go the way and recognizing that eternal life is following Christ uh, for those who want to receive Christ. Yes, those of you who don't want to believe in Christ or don't want to receive salvation from our perspective, that's your choice and we respect that choice. I want you to always know that. You have a right. You should. God gave you the right to choose. For believers, you made a choice that Christ is Lord, so let Christ be Lord in your life. And meaning Lord mean is instead of doing it your way, uh, you doing it his way. And so we want to be able to talk about the different uh, atrocities and, 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 and what's going on during the day, you know, modern time, and address it and say, how do things line up with the word of God? And that's what we want to talk about today. And one of the things is I'll show you, this is the title that I'm using uh, for today. Uh, I'm going to change the uh, cover. <laughs> uh, I just used the, one of my cover from last week to, to put up there to, to start this session off. Then I just take one of my uh, pictures for the day to uh, cover the scriptures. But the title, is talking about what fellowship has Christ with Belial. Belial. Belial is what represents the evil one, the devil, and so forth. What fellowship has it? Or love with hate. What fellowship, what compatibleness, compatibility does love have with hate? Or Christ have with the devil? None. And that's what we're trying to tell you. So we're trying to address in asking these questions is why would you use hate, discrimination, uh, murder, adultery, and all those things to and say that it's okay because it lines up with God. It has no compatibility. I hope that you start talking to the people in the medical profession and sit there and those people that are sitting there doing things that cause uh, people from different ethnic groups to die in, in, in procedures or in birth, uh, that ain't right. So talk to them. Let them know your eternal life is on the line while you're sitting there doing something that you think lines up with God's will, but murder does not line up with God's will. Not doing the best that you can just, and, and, and or doing the less that you can is not lining up with God's will. But the whole point I just want to sit there and say is that we're not supposed to uh, do things that's not compatible with the teaching of Christ. And, and that's what I think we need to ensure people do that, is to do the thing that's compatible with the teaching and encourage other people to do what's compatible with the teaching. And, and not to hurt people or put people down, but to love one another, amen? All right, so I think you're gonna enjoy this session. I guarantee you will. And I've even used some AI. <laughs> My son gave me something little with AI, and I used that to put some scriptures down, and it gave some interesting comments 
or synopsis of those scriptures that I want to share with you. And I think we can continue to use those to, to get that non-biased to at least less least bias bias uh, perspective of the scriptures. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you in here. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give comments when you can and understand that Yeshua, Jesus, Yeshua is the Hebrew name for Jesus in the English translation or transliterations. So uh, I hope you enjoy the study and, and I hope you come back again and we'll continue to just put the word out from my understanding and from what the scriptures say. The key to it is the whole purpose of using the slides is to show what the scriptures say. And I'll ask you to do is follow the scriptures. That's what you need to do. And that's what I believe is right. Amen. All right. And don't forget to subscribe. And now let's go ahead into our discussion that we had this Sunday. I'll check you when I see you later. Amen. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye. 618. And will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. Mm-hmm. In the final verse, Paul emphasizes the special relationship relationship believers have with God. God declares that He will be their father, and they will be His sons and daughters. This highlights the intimate bond between God and those who follow Him. Who follow Him? Yeah. Overall, this passage underscores the need for believers to maintain a clear distinction from unbelievers mm. and to abstain from the unclean practices. Mm. By doing so, they can experience a deeper and more intimate relationship with God as his cherished children. And that's not even a computer can come up with that. <laughs> yes, that's amazing. I, I seen a, uh, there was a minister, he had someone, uh, I guess, I don't know if it was the Book of Revelations. Yeah, he had the AI write about the Book of Revelations in relationship to AI. Mm -hmm. And the AI pretty much put itself down mm -hmm. by saying, you know, at the bottom line is if it's not uplifting the kingdom of God, mm. then don't follow it. Mm. You know, it talked That's about- That's what I'm saying, yeah. It talked yeah. about the chip, it talked about everything, but it said, but the main point is, if it takes away the kingdom, and if it takes away from God, yes, then it is, it's, it's, it's bad. But, he, it, but it also said, you know, man can manipulate AI to do whatever. It, well, eventually it will the, the, it's going to do what it's programmed to do yeah. this I think it's not this here is programmed just to to just hey I'm gonna read this and then this is this is this is what I'm seeing and you can you can refer back to this this particular one that says you can refer back to the scripture itself right yeah. it, it said his scripture this is what I'm seeing now if it came back as said something different, Contrary to the to the scripture, then we know I don't we you would even put it out here if, if, if it, it <laughs> wouldn't it wouldn't because it's saying that I don't be stupid. It's not gonna sit there and say it's alright to hate these people, yeah. but that's what that was some ministries or some parents are doing teaching their children. Uh, or even when I looked at the the song "Just yes, Jesus Loves Me," when you think about it, if if I want if I put I probably put that in the AI and see what it says. You know, it's interesting. It will, at least for me, I had, cause I never thought about it itself before, but it's incomplete. It only refocus, it's a me, me. Did you catch it? You know, when you think about it now, right? It's a me, me. Yeah. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yeah, but the, good, the, but the thing is, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just incomplete. It's there's incomplete, more exactly. More and, right, and just like us being taught uh, at a local body, there's more to it. There's more to it, and, and you you you're you, not going to get it all just on a Sunday and a Wednesday night. Bible nope. Stuff. Mm -mm. But there's more to it. Right, right. But you know the thing I think is I like the one about is the, like the Good Samaritan. 
right? It, 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 that was a, I like that complete package. He, he, he took that one package and said, go do likewise. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you who your neighbor is for one thing. I'm teaching you to recognize who your neighbor is. <laughs> and then I'm telling you, go do the same thing. See how he talk? I mean, he 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 put that, he he nailed that. And yet we and find it's based that, off of somebody who's trying to manipulate him to go against the will of God. Exactly. Exactly. And forgot about this real central theme and the central question was, how do I inherit eternal life? Yes. yes. That that was the that was the the, the whole thing behind it. How do I hurt internal internal life? And I'm saying is when you've got people sitting there, I mean, I'm almost wondering, and the reason I started off in the beginning asking this question is, uh, Brother Asin, and I, I know you, you don't have the answer for it, but you also do have an answer for it, is how can people having the pictures we've seen of, the, of, of lynching where a whole town or look like a whole town were there yeah. taking pictures and participating by observation or actually doing it. How can a little child walk up and look and, and smile at a body hanging on the tree? How do you do that? How do, you, how do you get to the point, like you said, if that was a dog, that child would be traumatized? Of course, and, and, and the scriptures even say cursed mm. is anyone who, who, who's, who's done likewise. Mm. So, so and if Christ was, who was killed on a tree, he gave his life up on a tree. He did. Uh, and yeah, people out there mocking during that time too. So why why would they mock that? Mm. Yeah. And look, and fast about it do worse than what they did to him. Yeah. In some cases. I mean, when you sit there and cut his fingers. Body on fire or, or <laughs> dismembered it. Where did that come from? That's what we, and see, that's my whole point. That scripture was talking about the fact is what fellowship do you have? with the contrary teaching of the gospel. Yeah. And yet I'm saying is that, man, we, the people started from all the way from the crusade. Cause the crusade was talking about them raping it. You know, they raped those ladies. Yeah. And, and you're like, okay, I assume most of you were married. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just give that benefit. Could you, can we agree that? The benefit of doubt that these men this, uh, a good percentage of them probably were what? Married, right? Yeah. And yet, they felt that it was okay to rape uh, the Jewish people, the Hebrew people, the Muslim people when they did the crusade. Those who were on those slave ships, ships right? Uh, or how about, the, how about the slave sex plantations? You that, that was that was the Bible Belt right down there, right? The, 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 the South was that the Bible Belt? Yeah. And how many years was sex plantations? Uh, and I heard they were very they were making a lot of money. How, how did that? How how do you do? How do you square that? There is no square. There is no square. You know, uh, there is no square. And, and uh, it's no square from the January 6th. There's no square for the bombing. There's no square for bomb, you know, bombing churches. There was no square to bomb the the, uh, the Timothy Revey, you know, <laughs> bombing the, I think, was that FBI? That was the FBI headquarters, was it? Yeah. Oh, no. Wow. How do you square defining? Remember, remember they got an uproar when uh, I think the, some of the Democrats were talking about uh, defund the police? 
and they went off. Quickly jumped up on that. <laughs> they jumped on that. <laughs> Just beat. I mean, but first of all, first of all, <laughs> why would you even label it something <laughs> as ignorant as that? I mean, <laughs> the, the, defunding the police had nothing to do with what the objective was. Right. They could have they could have come up with any other name than that. But it like I said, it's always a plan to bring chaos and division. Yeah. Because if they would have said, uh, let's support community uh, uh, what were they doing? Co co community services, community right? Efforts to yeah. to to fix community problems which is what they were trying to do, take money from that's allocated to build up, you know, this mass uh, uh, police force with mm -hmm. uh, war type equipment Come on. used to, to fight wars. Yes, sir. Why, why, why are they doing that instead of putting money into the communities to bring about, you know, uh, uh, Counseling and, and training mm -hmm. and, and and you know stuff like that and and, and medical mental illness they do for mental illness medical medical, yeah. medical uh, efforts but they couldn't come up with a name that talked about that now, they couldn't come up with a name defund the police that, hey look look hey look but here this is what blows you should blow away now is that same group that jumped on it as yeah. a stupidity when they said defund the FBI. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they want to go and say defund the FBI. Why? <laughs> you know, that's the same. One person. <laughs> they have the, not, yeah. not one person, but the efforts of a group of people. A group to of people. Throw right. The Constitution. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Contrary, to, and, and, and then they did it, do it in churches and everything else. And then they said, they said Well, he gave us judges. Oh, yeah, yeah, the churches <laughs> are pathetic. There's no the, other one, yeah. Because it is, it, yeah, judge, a judge of this world system has mm. nothing to do mm. with the judge of eternity, exactly. And that's the only thing we're trying to say, people. That's what I said when he said, come from, uh, from among them. This teaching things that you think benefits you, and you're doing a half truth. Matter of fact, I got back to the abortion again. I say that people, I think I, I, I will concur that that's a bad thing. And hopefully, if people, except for those of, for sickness and everything else, uh, but if it's come from recreational sex or immoral, you know, immoral behavior, then that's the consequences is the birth, uh, not the birth, but the pregnancy. And then they have abortion is you trying to bandage a bad behavior from the beginning. But there's people because of health reasons and everything else, we need to make sure that's considered rape, sex and all that stuff. We yeah. need to consider it. But but to just limit your focus, your narrow focus on one area and not think about the from conception to grade, I think that's the error. That's the error of teaching that goes on with the song that even it says, yes, Jesus loves me. Yeah, he loves you, but he also tells you, you love one another. He also told you to forgive one another. In other words, don't make it incomplete. I think that's what we're talking about, right? The teaching is supposed to be complete. And the behavior of those who are believers should line up with the complete teaching. Yes, we all make mistakes. Yes, we, but the practice, I think that, I think that he said it was a practice, didn't it? Yeah. Practice. If you're practicing, if you're teaching bad behavior and you're practicing bad behavior, then you're not lining up with his will and you are not fellowshipping with him. You're fellowshipping with the enemy. And he's trying to tell us, all of us, hey, line up with the teaching so that people can see who you are. 
what was Gandhi? Somebody say Gandhi say he 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 liked he liked the concept of Christianity until he met a Christian. Yeah. <laughs> that is an indictment. Yeah, but, in but, itself. but even even to say that, hopefully he was talking about a group of Christians. Well, definitely, yeah, he he you did. can't sum up a whole <laughs> people by one individual, which is what is the norm when you're putting down a group of people. That's exactly what that's the exactly what happens. But in other words, I think he was sitting because to me, saying he's in, I ain't a problem. The teaching sounds good. But based on what I see, uh, then that that teaching, because look, he probably obviously didn't read the scriptures himself, right? Yeah, yeah. He just heard about yeah. the gospel. Faith comes by hearing, got it. But when he saw somebody who professed to be, and he, that's what we try to tell people now, <clears throat> you profess to be something, and then you're going to come out and find out that he never knew you. And that's what we don't want you. That's all we're trying to warn uh, people who want, who say and profess that Christ is Lord. If He's Lord, let Him be Lord. Not, not your, not your denomination. Yeah. Not you. Definitely not, not you. Not you. There you go. Not you yourself. But let Him be Lord in your life, and use the Scriptures to test the spirit that 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 that's trying to influence us. Uh, I think the gospel is great because it, it is great. It's good news. The what do you call it? The glorious gospel. Yeah. But you can't. It's not about just you. <laughs> God so loved the world. See, we sit there and say God loves me. <laughs> when when God loves the world, in Christ, I like Christ's new commandments. John uh, thirteen thirty four. A new commandment I give unto you that you love one another as I have loved you. As I have loved you. That so you love one another. Pattern. There's a pattern. Hey, look, there's a practice. And then he even said in 35, he said, and men, see, here, there's a call about the preaching itself. And men will know that you are my disciples for the love that you have one another. Amen? So that's all we want to do. So I, I do like the fact is that. Uh, incorporating, uh, uh, taking the scripture, then let's, let's, you know, hear somebody else of something, analyze that and yeah. spit out, and then you talk about it yourself. Because obviously you're going to have more to, to, to put into it, but it's something to, to use as the foundation for discussion. Amen? All right, so we're going to wrap it up, but, you know, like I said, I'm changing the, the uh, titles to say, Frank discussion, frank Christian discussion, which is what we do, yeah. right? Uh, and then eventually we'll open it up for other people. <laughs> We're, I gotta figure that part out. That's just technology. I know it's a, it's a way to figure that out. Um, nothing else, I wanna get to the point where you and I can look at the people put it in a chat, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then try to get them, then respond to the chat. Yeah is what I would like to get to that point. That, that's, that's the goal and objective. Um, opposed to the, yeah, I'm gonna figure that out. Uh, well, well, I hope you have a great week, brother. You too, sir. You know, I'm gonna go do my little, uh, You do, I do send you out, I send you, I try to send the videos out uh, for the other people. I'd be shocked. You'd be Wow. A few hours later, I'll be like, that brother on it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and, and the thing I try to do for the people is try to look at every other, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But sometimes, so you got us in there every day. <laughs> so you get it because you don't get, when I send them out to the other groups, I just send out A, then maybe C or, you know, whatever. Yeah. But the whole point is, is let them know it's frank discussions. Uh, and uh, let's see what kind of traction we'll get from that. All right? Hey, well, you, like I said, I'm going to do a close out, you know, my summary that will be my introduction to the, these videos. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you when I see you. Amen? All right. Be All right. Stay blessed. Bye-bye. Let's see here.
Amen. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the study, the session we just went through. I will break those sessions down. I have broken those, broken those sessions down from A, B, C, D, or whatever it takes to finish them out. And then I just uh, post those on a daily basis throughout the week. And I will share those as much as possible to everybody um, on Facebook and uh, on YouTube. And, you know, I will send some out to text. I normally try to send the ones on text on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It takes you Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday uh, of the session that we had. So uh, I just hope you just capture the whole point is that we need to be able to actually focus on the Word of God and practice the Word of God and stop fellowship with people that teach things that's contrary to the Word of God. Now, I tell you not to go and minister and go preach the gospel to, 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 the, to the world, but when you actually have people who profess to be Christians and then they try to teach things contrary to the scriptures, not contrary to your ministry, your denomination, uh, or whatever somebody else tells you, what you want to do as an individual is responsible for doing what the scriptures say. Be led by the Holy Spirit is all we want to be able to do emphasize in this teaching. You know, so uh, there's no the title uh, as we gave here, and I'll show it again just to close out with it. The title, and I'll update the title in itself, but it says, What fellowship has Christ with Belial? Belial represents the devil, or love with hate. What, what fellowship do those two have? They don't have any. Uh, and that's why you want to make sure that you don't demonstrate the things or the, 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 the tools and manners of the devil. You want to demonstrate the tools of Christ, the love of Christ, the teaching of Christ. You know, I, I put in a song in this and they say, yes, you know, you remember that old song, the Christian song, children's song that says, you know, yes, Jesus loves me uh, because the Bible tells me so. And I put it in there and saying is that, that that's an incomplete song. And I know it's a children's song. And I just encourage the people to add some other things to the song, such as, yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you for the Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus forgives you. Yes, I forgive you. Because the Bible tells us. You see what I'm saying? That for us as believers, mature believers, is the fact is what does the Bible tell us so? Right? And that's, that's what I want you to remember that. And then also this scripture here that um, I mentioned in the introduction, what I'm, I'm mentioning now is, uh, in the closing, excuse me, is James 3.11. Does a fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter? Verse 12, can a fig tree, my brother, bear olive berries, either a vine, fig, so can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh water. So when you got hate, everything else coming out of you, you ask yourself, how's that? If you're supposed to preach the gospel, which is good news, if you're supposed to operate in love, which is the doctrine of the gospel, but you showing hate, and you're showing discontent, you need to check yourself. And you got to sit there and say, I'm following the will of God or follow the will of man or myself. I said, follow Christ. Amen. God bless you. I hope you enjoy the study. And then I hope you see the rest of these segments as we go along and talk. Amen. God bless you. And I appreciate you listening. And I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> bye bye. Rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.